Good morning, friends. Welcome to day two of this road trip. I'm just leaving my friend's house near Atlanta. She was so kind to let me crash there for the evening, so I really appreciate that. Um, I really didn't have a plan for this road trip. I'm just kind of winging it. I do have to be in Charleston for the weekend, so I'm going to do everything I can before I have to get there. Um, I decided this morning I'm going to go stay at Tallulah Gorge State Park. They've got an awesome, obviously, gorge <laughs> that you can hike down into and hike the rim of. Um, I'll just have to see if I can get a permit. It's supposed to rain a lot today. Uh, hopefully be a little bit sunnier tomorrow. If it's warm enough and I can handle the cold at night, probably stay another night and then head to Charleston on Wednesday. Anyways, just want to say good morning and we will hit the road. Okay, so I made it to my campsite and um, it's really nice. Uh, I just set up my tent because it is raining outside. I wanted to show you what that looked like on a campsite or like in real life or whatever for me, but um, yeah, it's raining. So, and I don't have my um, case for my camera yet. So this is what we are working with. Uh, I'm gonna finish getting everything set up on the inside and then maybe see about making some lunch or something. So yeah, this is my first stop. I am at Tallulah Gorge State Park. So tonight I'll probably just um, work on some YouTube videos. I picked up some firewood so hopefully it'll stop raining long enough for me to start a fire and hopefully get some good food going. If not, I've got my, my little canister so I can, I can cook my dinner on that. Um, yeah, so this is where we're at. yet so I feel kind of bad eating all of this crappy food <laughs> but it's okay today I'm having a tortilla this is just a little snack mm -hmm. wow this is like almond butter and it's the new squeeze butter which I feel like is awesome for backpackers because now we don't have to carry a whole jar and we can just squeeze it out anytime we want it mmm Mm -hmm. I feel like getting out here um, kind of allows me to enjoy the simpler things in life. <laughs> I really appreciate like how many distractions we normally have. I'm so excited to get on the AT. I know this is a campground and it's not like primitive or whatever but a good start, right? from being a flight attendant to smearing stuff on <laughs>
Well, my first little fire did not succeed, but I got the bottom piece of wood to catch on fire and I'm hoping that it's gonna be enough to at least cook my meal. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself though. Here's to camping by myself. Well, my campfire was an epic fail. <laughs> Maybe not a complete fail, but I got it lit and then it fell over. And then I got it lit again and then it fell over again. And then I tried to use this little device that my dad gave me to keep the flames going or to make them go. But I'm convinced it's just to blow it out now <laughs> because it blew it out. So I did resort to making my dinner with this. Oh. Yeah, so I went the trail route and I got my little stove and I'm gonna boil my water. Oh gosh. If it doesn't catch fire first. From wood that was on the fire. Perfect. Great times. Well, you can't see me, but I had every intention on having my dinner ready before dark. <laughs> uh, so I made nor pasta sides and um, packaged chicken, which I'm pretty sure is like a little bit of a staple on the trail. I had it last time. It was pretty good. I'll probably keep bringing this along. <laughs> But also, I stayed so warm. <laughs> My face is a little puffy. I think I need water. <laughs>